Hey there guys, and we're back. Um, this time we are writing an equation again, but this time from a line that is perpendicular to this line, given a point. So once again, we're given a point, so we are going to use point-slope formula. Okay, the same formula we used in the last video for parallel lines. We're still using that formula, but our slope is going to be different this time. So we still have our x1 and our y1 to plug into the formula, but we still need our m, our slope. Now, with perpendicular lines, it is very different than parallel lines. In the previous video, we mentioned that parallel lines have the same slope. Okay? But perpendicular lines are very different. With perpendicular lines, we have what's called opposite reciprocal slopes. So opposite reciprocal. So if our slope is 4, okay, in this equation, then that's actually 4 over 1. If I were to take the opposite sign, the opposite of a positive would be a negative, and the reciprocal means that you're going to flip the fraction. That means your numerator is now going to become the denominator, and the denominator is now going to become your numerator. So our new slope that we're going to use is negative 1 4. In order for lines to be perpendicular, they need to have opposite signs and reciprocals. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug in this point and this slope. y minus, my y one's right here, negative 1. Oh, I got a double negative, let's turn that into a plus. Equals m, my new slope, negative 1 fourth, not the original. x minus my x one, which is right here, 8. And there we have point slope form. Now once again, I'd like to remind you that on the star test, they tend to want the answer in y equals mx plus b form, so we're going to solve for y, but we're going to start out by distributing, okay? So negative 1 fourth times x is negative 1 fourth x. Notice my slope does not change. Your slope should not be changing at this point. Negative 1 fourth times 8. Well, a negative times a negative gives us a positive, and 1 fourth of 8 is 2. And the last and final step, y is almost isolated, but to get rid of the plus 1, we need to minus 1 on both sides. So our slope is still negative 1 fourth, and then 2 minus 1 is a positive 1. So there is our answer in y equals mx plus b form. This equation we just wrote is perpendicular to this line and goes through this point. Thank you guys. Talk to you next time.